Okay, so this is part two, redrawing the currents, um, arrows, just cleans it up a little bit. So now what we want to do is determine where voltage drops are across these, um, this resistance. It's not really a resistor. I draw them in so we can show our polarities. So it makes it easier for doing our voltage drops, but really what we're talking about is R squared losses. I R I R squared losses. And really what that is, we're talking about the amount of resistance within the wire itself creating a voltage drop before it gets to the load. So the loads are going to have a, a smaller voltage drop, as a, a, a smaller voltage applied to it as a result of the voltage drops across the, the wires that are feeding it. So to do that, first thing you have to do is figure out, well, I've got 22 amps through uh, 0 0.1 ohms, uh, just ohms law. 22 times uh, 0.1 will give me a 2.2 volt drop there. So before we calculate them, we'll just go around and get all our voltage drops here. 0 0.1 times uh, 7 amps, so I've got a 0 0.7 volt drop there. Don't know what that is. This one here, same thing. So we got 0 0.7 of a volt there. This one here is uh, 17 amps through there times 0.1. So got a 1.7 volt drop there. And then we've also got a volt drop here. Uh, and we've got uh, 0.1 times 5 amps. So we've got a 0.5 of a volt there as well. So now when calculating our loads, what we do is we say, okay, well, my voltage at load 1 is going to be equal to, well, what you do is you start with your 120 and you go, you either add or subtract based on the direction of your current lines. You just follow your current lines. You either add or subtract based on what you come to first. So I got 120 volts. I'm coming to this first. So I start with 120 minus, because I have a negative there, this 2.2 volts. And then at this point here, I don't have anything. This is what I'm solving for. So now I'm going to go follow the current lines, the current lines. So this potential here is connecting through here. So I've got a minus 0.5 volts here as well because I came to the negative first. So my voltage at load 1 is going to be equal to 120 minus 2.2 minus 0.5, which is equal to 117. Point Three volts. That would be my voltage here. Now, if we apply the same rules here, we look at this. Um, my voltage at load two is going to be equal to 120 volts. Follow the current direction. Don't worry about this is going in this direction. We know it's coming home here. So we're going to follow in this direction here. And we, the first sign we come to is a positive. So we're going to say, well, 120 plus 0.5 and we get to here, we get through here, we get a negative. So it's 120 plus 0.5 minus the 1.7 volts, which gives me 118, 118.8 volts. So E2 is 118.8 volts. 120 minus 0.5, sorry, plus 0.5 minus 1.7, 118 volts. Now we do load three and we do the same thing. So the voltage at load three is gonna be equal to, so we'll just follow current lines, negative minus. So we got our voltage here is no longer 120, it's, uh, it's 240, because really we're talking about this potential here and this potential here in between the two points, which is 240. So we've got 240. And what we're going to do is we're just going to subtract this one here because we got a negative, so negative 2.2. And then we get here, this is a subtraction as well, so we're going to subtract 0.7. And then we get through here, and that's a minus 0.7 again, minus 0.7. And then we get to here, that's a minus 1.7, so minus 1.7 volts. So voltage 3 is going to be 
uh, at load 3 is going to be equal to 120 minus the 2.2 minus the 0.7 minus the 0.7 minus the 1.7. Uh, so we're going to left with the voltage at 3 is um, 234.7 volts. 234.7 volts. Uh, and that's basically how you do it.